Again, treat your face like you would treat your scalp. Your scalp produces this in excess. Latina Beverly and we are here with another video to get straight into the point you're here because you want to know what's the best supplements for hair growth thickness and all that and I like to jump straight to the point because I know y'all's attention spans is a little short anyway let me remind you if you don't know I was diagnosed with female pattern hair loss and I basically went on a whole I mean journey honey like journey to regrow my hair, get it back to where it was. No, it's not back to where it was. My hair was down my back, touching my, my behind. And, you know, unfortunately it shed, it thinned out, a whole lot happened because of a whole lot of different reasons. And as you guys get to know me, we will go into all the tea. But for now, let's just get to the point as to what you guys can start taking today to start filling in your hair, your edges, and all that with some thickness, honey. So let's jump right in. So this one, if you know me, if you've been subscribed for a little bit, if you follow the other videos that I have, this is the GOAT. I'm not just saying that, seriously. It is my ride or die, okay? This one because it is good for thickening thin hair. Simply put, if your hair is thin, you need to take this. If that's what you're specifically dealing with today, if you need to think of whatever your problems are, if thinness is one of them, Nutrafol, link down below, is the one for you. So I always give a general reason why I like this. I do take this, but I'm gonna give you some more details today. So I'm gonna give you some more details today, okay? So Nutrafol addresses all the different reasons for hair loss. So there's many reasons, like I said, it could be hormonal, it could be nutrition deficiency, it could be stress, it could be hereditary. There's so many different reasons. I always recommend that you see a dermatologist or a trichologist so that you can find out exactly what is going on with you. Everything that I'm gonna say, oh, disclaimer, all of that, you know, I'm not a doctor, blah, 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 blah that's down below, but everything that I'm gonna say is what worked for me, but also remember, I seen a dermatologist who gave me a customized growth plan. So if you want information on a dermatologist who can give you a free scalp evaluation and a customized growth plan, please click on the link down below. But anyway, let's jump right into it. This one right here addresses all the different reasons of hair loss. If you don't know what your reason for hair loss is, it's gonna be covered with this one. Also, it's all natural. It uses adaptogens, anti-inflammatories, antioxidants, which antioxidants is very important for building collagen, and we know collagen is good for hair, to promote healthier hair. It has medical grade ingredients, AKA nutraceuticals. What that is, is they are ingredients with medicinal benefits. So those ingredients literally act as medicine, and a lot of those medicinal ingredients are botanicals, plant-based ingredients, by a lot, all, all types of, all types of natural, you know, plant-based stuff, okay? And it works in three ways, okay? This works in three ways. It stops shedding, it stops hair loss, and then it regrows hair and it regrows it thicker. So let me explain, and I, I gave this example so many times that those of you who know at this point know what I'm gonna say. It's like having a cup with holes in it and you're pouring in water, the water is all your little uh, hair growth, you know, DIY methods or whatever, you know, back home, if you're from the Caribbean, if you're from wherever, if you ethnic, honey, you know, if you're from down south, you know, if you Latina, like me, Afro-Latina, you're gonna have remedies for everything. But it's like you're pouring all those remedies into a cup that has holes in it, which is you and your underlying, possible underlying conditions, but also, let's just say, hair loss. If you don't plug the holes first, everything you're pouring in, it's gonna fall out. That's the same concept. You want something that is going to first stop the hair loss, and then you wanna start filling in your hair. So this is good for that, and then it, it grows your hair thicker. That's it. Like, it grows it thicker. You, there are other products that grows your hair fast and long. This is not gonna be fast. Let me tell you now, spoiler alert. It's not fast, it takes a long time. In fact, it's gonna be three to six months before you start seeing anything. And yes, you will be frustrated. You will throw your hands down and be like, I'm not doing this no more, it's too expensive. It, you know, it's too many pills, I'm just not doing it. Why, because I did that. 
My doctor recommended this. She, she was like, these are amazing. You know, my dermatologist recommended it. She said, these are amazing. Use them, use them, please. They're gonna thicken your hair because I was dealing with not only hair loss, but thinning at the same time. And she and I was just like, okay, no problem. Three months later, I come back to her like, yo, these don't work. Like, they don't work. She's like, they take a while. Like, they're filling in all the holes. Like I said before, it's like taking a Sharpie and coloring in all the holes first. It's filling in all the holes. And then it's going to create, you know, it's going to create density and thickness that takes time. And I'm just like, whatever, whatever, whatever. But lo and behold, I didn't realize that my hair was filling back in from the, thin, the thinness that I had. And I only knew because when I went to my, you know, my hairstylist, she was like, mira mommy, because yeah, she's Dominican. I still get a Dominican blowout when I want my hair straight. Don't at me, okay? I like variety. I like changing things up. But anyway, and that's not all the time. Let me put that out there before some of y'all come for me in the comments. But please, come for me in the comments. It, it boosts my engagement. Before some of y'all come for me in the comments, when I do straighten my hair, if I straighten my hair, it's literally almost twice a year. Like, every six months. It's not often. I would wear a wig before I straighten. So I usually do it, or if I do it, I do it simply, for not for a length check, because... Child, I don't really, at this point, I care about my fullness more than I care about length. That's where I'm at today because I know what it's like to have long, thin hair, but we'll talk about that. That's not here nor there. But anyway, so it's not for left chank, but usually if I'm trying to clip my ends because I notice I, I'm having a little more shedding than usual, I'm like, okay, it's time to clip my ends. So that's usually when I will straighten it, not just for, okay, I, just for vain purpose because, girl, by the time the sweat get through it and the way I sweat, if I'm not sweating right now, it's not going to work. But anyway, that's just that. You want thicker hair, use neutral oil. So, saw palmetto is in this, and it helps prevent DHT. DHT is a hormone that shrinks your hair follicle. It's the main testosterone hormone that women also have in men that causes, causes baldness at the top of the crown of their head. So if you see a man that has the George Costanza, if you're not as old as I am and you don't know who that is, but if, if you see a man that has balding at the top of his head, he's starting to get that little Caesar's crown, or that, you know, the sunroof, moonroof, whatever y'all call it these days. That's usually because he has a lot of DHT and DHT is the death of your hair follicle. And it's not de the death of your hair follicle. That's not what the uh, acronym stand for, but it's literally a, a testosterone hormone that unfortunately, while it has benefits for some men, it also kills their hair follicles and that's why a lot of men go bald. Women who deal with female pattern hair loss usually have more DHT in their system, i.e. me, than other women and so you want to take something that is going to stop shrinking that's going to stop the shrinking so if your hair if this is your hair follicle dht is going to keep shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking till it's gone so this is your hair follicle the hair growing now and the more it shrinks the less hair comes out and then when it's gone it when it's dead anyway nothing can get through it you know period it's just dead so the point with with d with a hormone that prevents DHT is gonna stop DHT from killing your follicle. So, right? Ashwagandha balances stress hormone cortisol. Stress is responsible for excessively shedding your hair. So, you know, DHT thins out your hair first and then it kills your follicle. Cortisol makes your hair boop, 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 shed like it's crazy. Curcumin acts as an antioxidant and it reduces inflammation. Inflammation almost does the same thing as DHT, but DHT is worse. DHT is literally a murderer. It's it's a like it's a murder. It's like first degree murder. Like it will kill your follicle. Inflammation, on the other hand, it will suffocate the crap out of your follicle. Does the same thing. But with inflammation, once you reduce that inflammation and you're no longer inflamed, your hair follicle will come back to life. So it's it's not dead, right? It's just it's just clogged. It's just you know tight but as the inflammation stops then it grows back it's good so anyway you need an antioxidant to reduce inflammation and also to boost collagen a concentrated form of vitamin e and vitamin e promotes density and then marine collagen which is an amino acid and amino acid strengthens hair anyway how do you use this you take them four times a day if you haven't seen my other videos i have a few other videos where you can take a look at all this information but i'll do it here you take these four times a day and yes you know if you cannot swallow pause if you know taking pills is not your is not your mo then you can open up the capsules and you can put them in your smoothie 
let me tell you, for me, I do not like to mix them in the blender with the smoothie because if you mix it in the blender with the smoothie and you don't drink the whole smoothie, then it's gone unless you're using like a, a personal smoothie, which is a personal blender, which is fine. But, you know, my thing is throw it in a cup and just stir it in, right? Because then you can get all of it in, at least at the same time. So let's move on to the next one, Vivisacal. Vivisacal is another one of my rider guys. And if you don't know from my other videos, I take both of them, but I have taken them both individually, okay? So let me explain. Vivisacal, what it does is, it's like, and I've explained this so many times. This is for you. Let me tell you who should take Nutrafol versus who should take Vivisacal. This is for you if thickness is not your problem, you have a whole lot of hair on your head, girl, but you want inches. This one is for you, okay? So remember what I said, if you already have thick, dense hair and that is not your problem, but you want inches, honey, this is the one for you. I have a whole detailed video and maybe I should do it here again. Why? Because some of you haven't watched the other video. So let me explain. Vivisacal mimics your hair when, or your 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 hormones. The, it, it, it activates the antigen cycle of the growth cycle, the antigen phase. The antigen phase is when your hair is growing. It's just growing nonstop. There's nobody hating on it. Nobody's blocking it. It's growing. Vivisacal is the one that grows your hair long because it activates your antigen phase. Antigen phase is when your hair is growing. Catagen is when your hair is resting. Intelligent is when it's shedding naturally. But telogen effluvium is when it's shedding excessively, aka postpartum hair loss or excessive hair loss, hair shedding after a stressful or traumatic experience, okay? Yes, having a baby and being pregnant is stressful and traumatic. I don't care what any of you say. I have four. Anyway, so Vivisacal, it mimics that pregnancy thing, right? And I won't say hormone, but it mimics that pregnancy thing when your hair is growing long and beautiful, this does that. It's like it turns on the switch. You know, fair and balanced, right? That means you have to oh, you have to keep taking it because when you stop, the switch goes off. Now, I'm not saying your hair won't go into the other cycles. I'm not saying your hair won't shed, but this is really, really good at activating hair growth on steroids, on crack. I mean, no, let me not say that. Like, optimal hair growth. Okay, so let's go into it a little bit more. It's performed very well in seven clinical trials. Both of these, this one is clinically proven to grow your hair long. Also, the Nutrafol that I, I mentioned in my last one, not in my last one, but Nutrafol was the first one I mentioned. That is also clinically proven to thicken your hair. This is clinically proven to grow your hair and to stop shedding. In one trial, 75% of participants experienced a significant decrease in hair loss. So this is really good for you if you wanna, you know, some length retention. How does it work? I already explained the antigen phase. So um, let me talk about uh, what it's known for. It's known for shark cartilage and mollusk powder. And what is that, right? Let me, I did the homework for you. I'm the nerd, I geek, I geek out off of this stuff. So what that means is these are marine based proteins that are rich in fatty acids that reduces hair loss. So it's almost like, you know, it's like the benefits of salmon. I gotta find a new phrase. Comment down below if you guys can help me get a new phrase for like on crack, because I'm from New York. So when you say something's on crack, that's actually good. It has a positive connotation, but I know you guys are looking from all over the world, watching from all over the world. And if I say something silly like that, y'all gonna be like, what is wrong with her? Crack is not good. It's not good. It's not good, children. It's not good. It's really not. So help me find another phrase for saying that. It just works really, really well, okay? Fish oil delivers nutrients to your hair follicles, silica. It balances hormones that could cause hair loss. Like I said, silica is good for balancing your hormones. If you have a hormone imbalance like I did and I'm still fighting with today, it's improved significantly with all my lifestyle changes. My testosterone was just peaked. Like, I should, I mean, come on. Like, it was just too much. I'm like, this is why I act like this. Like, this is why I can straight act like a dude sometimes because my testosterone just be, just be popping. Like, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. So, anyway, so it balances that so that way DHT won't get to your scalp. It won't, it won't kill your hair. It won't kill your follicle, right? There's others, but DHT, 
that's the one you need to be scared of. That's, that's the criminal. It has niacin, which improves blood circulation to the scalp. Why is blood circulation important? We all know that if you massage your scalp, if you get blood circulation to the scalp, all of that stuff is good for growing hair, stimulating hair growth. Why? Because when you deliver blood to your scalp and oxygen, it delivers the nutrients a lot more efficiently. Again, like I mentioned with Nutrafol, you have to commit. You have to commit for three to six months. Listen, with anything that you do, you have to commit. You have to commit for anything to work, okay? I just started this YouTube journey, okay, honey? Um, you know, new year, new me, all of that. So with anything, you have to commit, right? You have to stick with something for enough time to see if it's going to work for you. I mean, I'm not saying that if you're experiencing some form of allergy right if you're having an allergic reaction or an adverse uh, adverse reaction to anything mentions here or not mentioned here to keep going no honey stop it's not for you but if it's not causing you any type of problems or whatever you got to give it time you got to trust the process and listen you just you can't you can't watch the grass while it grows it will drive you insane I'm, let me tell you, honest, honest disclaimer, just me being honest, like, again, my hair was down my butt, so I'm still not at a place where I'm like, oh my gosh, like, but when I look at the pictures of when it fell, fell out and where it is today and how it's thriving and it's just so healthy, it's bouncing, it's curly again, and it's not just like a, a frizz puff, it was just like a, it was just like, like a cotton ball, and not even the tight ones, like the ones when you spread them thin and it's I'm not where I was. So I'm not where I wanna be, but I'm not where I was, and I'm so grateful. And let me tell you, everything that I've done has worked. One, because I got a customized growth plan from my dermatologist. Link below if you need a dermatologist that specializes in ethnic hair that can help you regrow your hair, stop your hair loss, and just evaluate your scalp for free. Sis, take the bait. Like, if somebody's gonna check your scalp for free from anywhere you are in the world, click the link below. But then get a custom growth plan. But then three, my doctor even said to me, listen, I just gotta tell you from running the test, because they there's so many tests that your derm your dermatologist can run. They can run a follicle test, like to see how the size of your follicle, see if it shrunk. Like they can tell you, oh yeah, yeah, your follicles are shrinking, sis. Like that's what they could do. She was like, listen, I don't know what you're doing, but keep doing it because it's working. Like it's working like you have completely slowed the progression of your hair loss you have slowed it significantly you know so and my dance my density is coming back all of that all of that all of that okay so how do you take these yeah you take these twice a day like i mentioned these are little pills they're smaller than neutral so they're more twice a day one in the morning one at night it's tricky for me because i do intermittent fast um if you want me to talk about intermittent fasting and how it has completely changed the trajectory of my life for a positive because i started intermittent fasting when my hair started falling out and my acne was bugging out and everything was crazy 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 and one of the first things I did to reset my body was intermittent fast. That's not what this video is about, but if you want me to do a video, please comment down below. But now, for those of you who watched my other videos, I have a new one for you that I have not mentioned anywhere else and I have a reason for that. And I use this one. This was the first one that I started using when I changed my life. And this is not available over the counter. Let me make that very, very clear. This one right here is called Nicodan. Nicodan is unique because it's not something you can buy over the counter. You can't click a link below, you can't do any of that to actually purchase Nicodan. This is a pharmaceutical brand, but it's still a dietary supplement, meaning it's natural. It does not, it's, it doesn't have active ingredients, it's not chemicals. It's a dietary supplement. It's a unique dietary supplement that treats inflammatory conditions including skin conditions like acne and rosacea, but also alopecia. This has to be prescribed by a doctor, okay? This was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. This right here, what I loved about it, it was the first one that I started using. Before I started spending money 
on Nutrafol, on Vivisical, and whatever else not I've mentioned before, before I started spending coin on those, my insurance was paying for this for free. But the reason why she gave me this was because this has two functions. Not only does it help grow your hair, especially women with alopecia, it helps you with the treatment of alopecia, but this is also good for your skin. Sis, I cannot stress to you how important it is to be mindful of what you do because everything you do can affect your skin. I have more videos coming about the best hair oils and all of that for hair growth because I believe that hair growth is a system. It's a 360 ecosystem that includes topical treatments like hair oils and, 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 and stuff that you apply to your scalp. It also includes um, digest, like it includes digestion and nutrients, foods that you eat, your diet. It includes the, the pills that you take, like the dietary supplements that you take so that you can get more nutrients that you're not getting from your food. It includes treatments. There are cosmetic treatments, whether they're medical or cosmetic treatments that will help activate your follicles and regrow your hair. There's so much and I feel like for you to have effective hair growth, you have to do all of them. You can't just apply oil, you can't just take a supplement, you can't, you gotta do as much as you can, as much as your pockets afford, right? If you cannot afford certain things, then ask your doctor what are the things that your your insurance can cover, right? Let's start with that until you get to a place where you can spend some bread. But if you bougie and you one of those girls that you know you always traveling, all of that, all of that, or you about to you know you about to get your teeth done, you about to get your body done, all of that, all of that, then you can afford to you know you can afford your hair loss treatments or hair growth treatments. You can afford your skin treatments, right? This one she prescribed to me because it had dual functions. It really attacked the acne that I had. It brought down the inflammation that was causing a lot of the acne that I had. I had cystic acne, which is acne that's underneath your skin. You cannot pop it. There is not a popper big enough, strong enough to pop it. It is underneath your skin and is usually hormonal. I had cystic acne and my hair was falling out and thinning, okay? I, I had a good hodgepodge of everything. So the number one ingredient in this that you're not gonna find over the counter is niacinamide. And it has 800 milligrams, which is why it's available by prescription because 800 milligrams of niacinamide is a lot, okay? And that's good, it's not bad at all. Let me show you what it looks like. It is, um, oh, this one is not open. Oh, I gotta pop it open. Okay, it is a horse pill. It's a horse pill, I'm not gonna lie. You take it once a day, at least that's how, you know, I don't know if you can see it. You take it once a day, it is a horse pill. I took it twice a day because that's how my doctor, because my stuff was aggressive. My stuff was like, it was aggressive. So I started twice a day and then I was able to titrate down to once a day. And niacinamide, let's go about, let's go over that. Before I talk about niacinamide, it has everything else that a multivitamin would have. It has, you know, vitamin B complexes. It has amino acids. It has antioxidants, vitamins D, A. It has all the great vitamins that you would find in a prenatal pill. In a, and it has it almost in the same concentration as a prenatal pill versus just a one a day. But it has all the good stuff that you need. But the 800 milligram of niacinamide is exactly what is the, is the sh like, the holy grail here. Let me explain. It reduces sebum production. Sebum, if you didn't know, is like the, the natural oils that your body, that your, your skin, your body produces, right? But anything in excess is no good. So for example, acne, one of the causes of acne, because acne within itself has several causes, but one of the causes for acne is excessive sebum production. So if you're an oily skin girl like I am, I don't know if I'm shining in this, I might edit it to dim the shine, or I might just be raw and real and just be like, look how shiny I am. I'm naturally oily. I have oily, um, acne prone skin, adult acne, all of that stuff. I mean, my skin is clear now, honey. But I naturally have those things. And so that's because I have an excess of sebum production. What a lot of people don't know is that your scalp also produces sebum, right? Your scalp, again, treat your face like you would treat your scalp. Your scalp produces this in excess. That's why sometimes there's a big debate right now in the hair care or in the in the like in the hair restoration industry about whether or not it makes sense to use hair oils. I'm not, don't at me, don't scream at me, don't yell at me. I'm only telling you what's going on because a lot of people feel like, especially some people produces more, more oils, more natural oils, more than others. To add more oil on top of that can create a complete chaotic environment. Environment that is not pH balanced, that's just messed 
the crap up, right? We're not gonna go into that here. If you want me to talk about that, comment down below. All I'm talking about right now is your your body creates its own natural sebum. But when it produces it in, in excess, especially up here, it starts causing itchiness, itchy scalp, not dandruff, but you can start having a condition called seborrheic dermato dermatitis, which in short is sebderm, and that is what a lot of people confuse for dandruff, but it's not. It's like a moist, nasty, cookie or like it's just flaky and not to call it nasty like if you're going through it that makes you nasty it's just something that you don't want to deal with and hopefully you can treat it right we can treat it together let's treat this together so too much of it on your scalp or face is no good so it de it reduces that sebum production basically it keeps it at bay Ni niacinamide also decreases water loss and let me explain no you're not going to be bloated I don't mean it like that, Not no. Not that it's gonna help you retain water. I mean more so from your skin, right? If your hair, like it keeps your, it keeps the environment nice and moist. It's like soil and fertilizing the soil and like adding water to the soil so that it, so that the plants grow is the same concept on your scalp. Underneath your scalp, honey, and not even underneath, like if you take a microscope to look at your scalp, it's a whole, like, it's like a plant. It's like a farmer's market. Well, some of us have farmer's markets, you know? It's like a farmer's market. So you have a so you have the soil, you have the fertilizer, you have the grass, the, the, all of that, the weeds, you know. And the point is, it keeps the water. It, it just makes sure that it keeps the moisture locked into your hair shaft and your hair follicle. That's what I'm trying to say because we all know moisture and all of that is is really essential for hair growth because treat your hair like you treat a plant. You water it. It needs water to grow. It needs it. Your hair gets thirsty, honey. And yes, you drink water as well, but you also need to add it on topically. I said there's many ways to skin a cat. Also, it has vitamin C, which like I said, has anti-inflammatory properties. I spoke about inflammation. Inflammation can really close up your hair follicle, making it hard for your hair to grow. Vitamin B6, which plays a, vi a vital role in proper skin function. Zinc gluconate, which is different from zinc oxide, because zinc gluconate is better absorbed into your body than zinc oxide. And what it does is it helps regenerate skin cells, AKA it exfoliates your skin. So not only does this exfoliate the skin, like your face, like the skin on your, the, the, the dead skin or cells on your face, it also exfoliates your scalp. Honey, in one pill? Like, I mean, listen, I don't want y'all to think I'm the pill lady. I, I don't want y'all to think that, but I do believe in dietary supplements. I've been, I've been, I've been taking them for years and I, it has saved, along with other things. And we'll talk about that in other videos. So this one pill is powerful. It's very powerful. Alpha lipoic acid, which is the, one of the most strongest forms of antioxidants. We know antioxidants are necessary for collagen building and boosting. Um, and it eradicates free radicals, anything that's gonna age and deteriorate your skin, which is also the skin on your scalp. Um, and like you know, folic acid, which is just very important for hair growth and, and a whole bunch of other nutritional benefits. These are gluten-free, dairy-free, free of yeast, um, and a whole bunch of ish, okay? I use this to fight my hair loss and acne at the same damn time, okay? This, you're not gonna find over the counter. It's just, it's different, it's different, it's different. I just, I love it, I love it because this had my skin and my hair popping at the same time. I will say this, being honest, like, you know, it's hard for me to get my hands on it now because my insurance doesn't cover it. This is only available through insurance only. Um, while there is a cash price, it's very expensive. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. I have not found a replacement for this. I've con I continue to look right now my only replacement is prenatal pills and it's not a replacement because prenatal pills does not have the 800 milligrams of niacinamide so i mean you can find niacinamide but it's just and it's not and that's another thing niacinamide and niacin are different it's just different let me let me give you a quick backgrounder about me just in case you don't know so yes i was diagnosed with female pattern hair loss so i went on a journey to not only grow my hair um but to learn a lot of this stuff but also i geek out on the science because by trade like i've been working in the dermatology uh world and healthcare industry for over 10 years so that's why you know I'm, I've cheated a little bit. I know I know a lot about these things, right? I know a lot about these things because 
just being honest, like I I know the science of a lot of these things. So my goal is to break them down so that it's simple for people like me and you, right? Because I had to break it down and interpret it to make it simple for me. Now, depending on what you when you watch this video, you know, I don't know how long this video is gonna live in the stratosphere and the atmosphere of you know YouTube or whatever, but I guess I'll pin a post that says that it's no longer available. I can get samples for anyone who wants samples of these. Obviously, like I said, in every, like I say in every video, I'm not a doctor. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Read it down below. You know, none of this stuff is. I'm not. I can't prescribe anything or anything. But if you're interested in getting your hands on some free samples, please link down below to connect with doctors in your area who can get you these for free. So if you want to test them out, test the waters. And what I will say, the difference between these and a lot of the other things is these tend to work very quick. You will see the difference taking these immediately. Like, these are fast. That's why, you know, I keep some samples because I just, my, my new insurance just doesn't cover them anymore. Um, but I keep samples and child, listen. Another thing is, like I said, a lot of doctors who are treating women with alopecia, this is what they prescribe, so, okay. Anyway. I am your girl, Beverly from Brooklyn, New York. I, like I mentioned all the time, I was diagnosed with female pattern hair loss and I started a journey to regrow my hair, to get it thriving, honey, like it once was when it was down to my butts, okay? When it was thick and beautiful. And so I am still on the journey, but I have grown it significantly. I have stopped my hair loss and it is thriving. So if you wanna join that journey with me, please subscribe to the channel. Also with my skincare, all my lifestyle stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm just one of those people that I'm just a beauty junkie. So for me, I merge beauty and, and wellness. So I'm like a beauty wellness journey. Like, you know, beauty wellness, whatever. Um, anyway, so subscribe to the channel, like, comment, um, and share with a friend who is going through hair loss or who just wants to grow their hair and they just want to know a different, natural yet scientific way of regrowing their hair. Thank you. Bye.